And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, Concerning the feasts of the Lord, which ye shall proclaim to be holy convocations, even these are my feasts. Six days shall work be done, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of rest, and holy convocation. Ye shall do no work therein. It is the Sabbath of the Lord in all your dwellings. The Sabbath is an important part of the Israelite culture. The Sabbath is the set-apart day the Most High gave to His people to rest from all their works. The Most High also commanded His people, the Israelites, to remember the Sabbath day throughout their generations. Wherefore the children of Israel shall keep the Sabbath, to observe the Sabbath throughout their generations, for a perpetual covenant. It is a sign between me and the children of Israel forever. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, and on the seventh day he rested and was refreshed. Israelites, the Most High gave us the set-apart day, the Sabbath, to rest. Regardless to where we live in this world, we must observe the Sabbath. The Sabbath day is also a sign between the Most High and the Israelites forever. Speak thou also unto the children of Israel, saying, Verily, my Sabbaths ye shall keep. For it is a sign between me and you throughout your generations, that ye may know that I am the Lord that doth sanctify you. As the scripture state, the Sabbath is a covenant the Most High made with His people. Israelites, if the Most High needed to rest from His work, we need to rest and refresh ourselves as well. Before we go deep, let us create a foundation. Let us go back to the beginning in the book of Genesis where the Most High was creating the heaven and earth. The scriptures went on to inform us that the Most High rested on the seventh day. Six days, Yah worked, he formed the heaven, the earth, and the animals. It took the Most High six days to complete his work. On the seventh day, the scripture said the Most High rested, blessed, and sanctified the seventh day. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all the host of them. And on the seventh day God ended his work which he had made, and he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had made. And God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it, because that in it he had rested from all his work which God created and made. Israelites, the Sabbath day is not just a rest day, but also a sanctified day the Most High preserved for you to keep holy. To be holy is to be set apart. The observance of the Sabbath is the fourth commandment the Most High gave to Moses and our ancestors. Remember the Sabbath day, to keep it holy. Israelites, the world has declared its own Sabbath day, and the Most High have His set-apart day. By now, we all should know the kingdom of darkness through the synagogue of Satan must interfere with the affairs of the Most High. Satan have deceived many to observe the Sabbath according to religion standards. The Emperor Constantine changed the Sabbath from the seventh day to Sunday. When the synagogue of Satan forced this change upon the people, it caused the Israelites to transgress the laws of the Most High. Satan managed to keep the Israelites in rebellion. Through the Israelites transgressing the Sabbath, the kingdom of darkness continued to rule. Satan must imitate everything the Most High does. This is how Satan managed to deceive the whole world. The Most High has a specific way he wants his people, the Israelites, to observe the Sabbath. Satan has declared through religion that you can choose a day of your choice to observe the Sabbath. In addition, Satan proclaimed the laws of the Most High are done away with. A question to ask your pastors, if the laws are done away with, why the Emperor Constantine changed the Sabbath day to Sunday if observing the Sabbath is no longer required? This reminds me of Eve in the garden when the serpent deceived her into eating from the forbidden tree. Satan said to her, you would not die, but gain knowledge and be like the Most High. And the serpent said unto the woman, ye shall not surely die. For God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree to be desired to make one wise, 
she took of the fruit thereof, and did eat, and gave also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. Eve believed the half-truth because Satan made it appear as if it was no big deal to eat from the forbidden tree. Satan is doing the same thing in this generation, saying to the Israelites, you do not have to observe the Sabbath because the laws are done away with. A half truth is a complete lie. The world observed the Sabbath like any other day. Sunday is the supposed set apart day. When I am out, I see pagans everywhere on their set apart day doing business as usual. You cannot tell the difference between Sunday and the rest of the days of the week. The pagans work buy and sell on their set apart day and ignore the most high's instruction to his people on how to observe the sabbath israelites this is why you cannot follow the traditions of men but he answered and said unto them why do ye also transgress the commandment of god by your tradition if you follow how religion enforced the observance of the sabbath on the people you are being misled you should not follow the heathens on how they observe the Sabbath or any of the set apart days the Most High command his people, the Israelites, to observe. The heathens do not serve the same Elohim as you. They serve the kingdom of darkness in disguise. Some heathens are aware the God of religion is Satan, while most do not. If you follow how the people who proclaim to be Jews but are not, but of the synagogue of Satan, you are definitely keeping the set apart days and the Sabbath in error. The Book of Jubilee explained how we would observe the set-apart days like the heathens. The Most High knew this would happen. That is why Yah prophesied about this. In the Book of Jubilee, chapter 6, verse 34 through 38, explain how we will forget how to determine the days and how to keep the holy days the Most High require His people to observe. And all the children of Israel will forget and will not find the path of the years, and will forget the new moons, and seasons, and sabbaths, and they will go wrong as to all the order of the years. For I know, and from henceforth will I declare it unto thee, and it is not of my own devising, for the book lies written before me, and on the heavenly tablets the division of days is ordained, lest they forget the feasts of the covenant and walk according to the feasts of the Gentiles after their error and after their ignorance. For there will be those who will assuredly make observations of the moon how it disturbs the seasons and comes in from year to year ten days too soon. For this reason the years will come upon them when they will disturb the order and make an abominable day, the day of testimony, and an unclean day a feast day, and they will confound all the days, the holy with the unclean, and the unclean day with the holy, for they will go wrong as to the months and sabbaths and feasts and jubilees. For this reason I command and testify to thee that thou mayest testify to them, for after thy death thy children will disturb them, so that they will not make the year three hundred and sixty-four days only, and for this reason they will go wrong as to the new moons and seasons and sabbaths and festivals, and they will eat all kinds of blood with all kinds of flesh. This is why it was important the Most High remind our ancestors to teach the next generations of His laws, statutes, and commandments. The Most High charged our ancestors to pass on the Israelite culture to the next generations so they would not forget. Due to slavery and many other strategies from the kingdom of darkness, this generation struggled with the observance of the Sabbath and the set-apart holy days. Most of us were pagans and following the world until the awakening. Through the awakening, we are discovering who we are and uncovering the many lies told by the kingdom of darkness through the synagogue of Satan. Now that we are aware the laws are not done away with and we must observe the Sabbath, many Israelites do not know how to observe the Sabbath. Israelites, it is okay if you do not know how and when the Sabbath day is. You just heard in the book of Jubilee that we would forget how to determine the days and how to observe the Sabbath day. In addition, we would set an abominable day for the set apart holy days. I'm not saying to ignore the most high commands on the Sabbath, but to take the pressure off yourself. We would not get everything right. We are like newborn babes learning our culture in the awakening. Our calendars are distorted and history has been manipulated. Satan has altered the scriptures. You would have to be in tune with the Holy Spirit to hear what the Most High is saying to you. Too many Israelites wants to fight about the true Sabbath day. 
Some Israelites follow the moon, other Israelites follow the heathen Jews. And while another group of Israelites use the Gregorian calendar, regardless of what method you use to determine which day is the Sabbath, all the methods are incorrect. Unless the Most High reveal to you what day and year we are truly in and how to calculate the days, you will not know the exact day. I personally believe the moon is our calendar. However, I do not, I repeat, do not agree that the moon cycles determine the Sabbath. The book of Enoch explains it takes 14 days for the moon to become a full moon. The countdown starts from when the moon received the first crescent. According to human wisdom, when the moon received half of its light or the first quarter, that is the seventh day in the Sabbath. I find that to be inaccurate. They are not counting the new moon as a day. The new moon can last two days. Therefore, every day that pass and the moon is dark, it is a day. To support my findings, when King Saul was observing the new moon traditions, the scripture said on the second day of the month, David's seat was still empty. So David hid himself in the field, and when the new moon was come, the king sat him down to eat meat. And the king sat upon his seat as at other times, even upon a seat by the wall. And Jonathan arose, and Abner sat by Saul's side, and David's place was empty. Nevertheless Saul spake not anything that day, for he thought, Something hath befallen him. He is not clean. Surely he is not clean clean. And it came to pass on the morrow, which was the second day of the month, that David's place was empty. And Saul said unto Jonathan his son, Wherefore cometh not the son of Jesse to meet, neither yesterday nor today? King Saul celebrated the new moon feast on the new moon day. The next day the scripture said it was the second day of the month, making the new moon the first day. The scriptures reveal to us that the new moon is considered a day. The way our people and the heathens is calculating the days using the moon phases is inaccurate. The Book of Jubilee said some of us would turn to the observance of the moon to determine the days. The scriptures went on to say we would do this in error, and the moon comes ten days too soon every year. For there will be those who will assuredly make observations of the moon how it disturbs the seasons and comes in from year to year ten days too soon. The moon cycles do not determine the Sabbath. The Book of Enoch gives you an enormous amount of information about the moon phases. Let us move on to the Israelites who keep the Sabbath from sundown Friday to sundown Saturday. That observance of the Sabbath is also inaccurate. The synagogue of Satan observed the Sabbath sundown Friday to sundown Saturday. Israelites, you should not be following the synagogue of Satan or the heathens. Another reason I find observing the Sabbath from sundown to sundown, many pagans worship their idol God at sundown to sundown. In addition, what is popular with men is an abomination with the Most High. The book of Matthews revealed that after the Sabbath at dawn, Mary Magdalene went to the tombs. If the Sabbath was over at dawn, that means the day starts at dawn. Remember, Satan does the exact opposite of what the Most High does. In the end of the Sabbath, as it began to dawn toward the first day of the week, came Mary Magdalene and the other Mary to see the sepulchre. We should never follow the heathens. Following the heathens led us to captivity. In addition, the satanic system we call religion. The heathens do not know the Elohim of Israel. The Book of Jubilee inform us that we would follow the heathens in their observance of the set-apart days. The heathens keep the Sabbath and all the other set-apart days in error. For I know, and from henceforth will I declare it unto thee, and it is not of my own devising, for the book lies written before me, and on the heavenly tablets the division of days is ordained, lest they forget the feasts of the covenant and walk according to the feasts of the Gentiles after their error and after their ignorance. The Israelites who observe the Sabbath on Saturday, I am one of the Israelites who observe the Sabbath all day Saturday. The Gregorian calendar is also inaccurate. The Book of Jubilee and the Book of Enoch reveal that there are 364 days in a year. Our present calendar have 365 days. Every day of the week is named after a pagan god. The pagans constructed the man-made calendar, therefore it is not of the Most High. Israelites, unless the Most High revealed to you the exact day of the Sabbath, none of us truly know. The most popular Israelite on YouTube, camps, 
teachers, and prophets, none of them know unless the Most High has revealed it to them. If the Most High reveals such information, you need two or three witnesses to establish the matter. This is the third time I am coming to you. In the mouth of two or three witnesses shall every word be established. Before you accept anything, you must test their spirit to see if they are of the Most High. Whenever you do not know something, pray and ask the Most High for assistance. I went to the Most High and said, I know that Saturday may not be the Sabbath day. I do not know how to determine the days. According to my generation, we go by the calendar provided in our time. Saturday is the seventh day in this generation. I will observe Saturday as the Sabbath. Please show me how to honor you on this set apart day. The Most High gave me peace with the decision I made. I never enforce the decision I made on any of you, nor proclaim you must follow me. You have to make your own decisions. Whatever you decide, always look for the Most High's peace. If you do not have his perfect peace that surpass all understanding, try something else and keep praying and seeking the Most High until he gives you his peace. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. The Lord will give strength unto his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Many Israelites want to know how we keep the Sabbath. Let us hear how the Most High said, you should observe the Sabbath. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work, thou nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. You are to rest from all forms of work. You have six days to labor, do all your chores, but on the seventh day, the Sabbath, you are to rest, Israelites. If you choose to visit family and go out for walks, that is permitted on the Sabbath, as long as you are not working. Fellowshipping with other Israelites, such as our weekly Saturday morning fellowship, is permitted on the Sabbath. Reading the Bible, praying, and spending time with the Most High are good activities to do on the Sabbath. Bonding with the Most High on the Sabbath is a great way to get closer to the Most High. A few people ask me if it's okay to watch television on the Sabbath. Me personally, I do not watch television. Remember, the Sabbath is a sanctified, set-apart day. It must be holy. Whatever you are watching, make sure it is suitable for the Sabbath. If you are married with children, the Sabbath is a good day to bond with the members of your household. Discuss the week and conduct family Bible lessons. Doing good works on the Sabbath is permitted. An example of good works uploading the weekly message on Open Diary, the moderators who supervise the chat room, that is good work. Most importantly, Israelites, make sure you are resting on the Sabbath. Resting is the whole purpose of the Sabbath. The things you should not do on the Sabbath. Running around is not what the Most High had in mind for his people on the Sabbath day. Buying and selling is not permitted on the Sabbath. Again, I will say the purpose of the Sabbath is to rest. A day in the life of an Israelite is never easy. Some Israelites have two or three full-time jobs. In addition, you have to take care of the household and yourself. Build a personal relationship with the Most High. We have to deal with the attacks from the kingdom of darkness and the heathens. We need the seventh day to relax and meditate on the words of the Most High. Rejuvenate ourselves to prepare for the next six days. Cooking and going out to eat is not permitted on the Sabbath. You must prepare for the Sabbath the day before. Everything you will need for the Sabbath, make sure to purchase the items the day before. Prepare your food the day before to have for the Sabbath. When the Israelites were in the wilderness and the Most High was providing food for the Israelites, the Most High commanded the Israelites to gather double the portion of manna on the sixth day to prepare for the Sabbath. Then said the Lord unto Moses, Behold, I will rain bread from heaven for you, and the people shall go out and gather a certain rate every day, that I may prove them whether they will walk in my law or no. And it shall come to pass that on the sixth day they shall prepare that which they bring in, and it shall be twice as much as they gather daily. Some Israelites have jobs that require them to work on the Sabbath. 
I do not recommend that you quit your jobs. You need a job to provide for your family and yourself. What I recommend is that you take the matter to the most high in prayer. Ask the most high to give you favor in the sight of your boss. After you ask the most high, speak to your boss, inform him or her of your need to be off. If your boss is willing to work with you, comply until the most high change your situation. When I was working a nine to five, I would work every Sabbath. Once I found out that the observance of the Sabbath was important, I prayed first. After I prayed, I went to my boss and informed him that I needed a couple weekends off during the month. I did not ask for every weekend because I knew the enemy would stir up the spirit of jealousy in my coworkers to come against me. My boss worked with me and I was in charge of preparing the schedule for my location. The Most High gave me favor in the sight of my boss and grant me two weekends off during the month until Yah removed me from that job. Now I am in the position to have every weekend off and observe the Sabbath. Israelites, this did not happen overnight. It was a process. I did not fight with my coworkers and demand that I be off every weekend. I worked with my employer until the Most High changed my situation. To the Israelites who cannot get off to observe the Sabbath, I recommend you continue to pray about your unique situation. While praying, seek to find a job where it will not interfere with the Sabbath. You have to put in an effort. You cannot pray for another job and not go job hunting. You have to take a step so that the Most High can order your steps. The Most High will work with the humble and anyone he can show himself strong through. For the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong in the behalf of them whose heart is perfect toward him. Herein thou hast done foolishly, therefore, from henceforth, thou shalt have wars. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. Yah will change your situation and give you favor in the sight of your boss, co-worker, and the company as a whole if you are truly serving him with all your heart. Remember, the Most High seek for his people to serve him in the spirit and in the truth. I hope this lesson is able to clear up the confusion in the Israelite community. Remember, if you are confused, Satan is the author of confusion. The spirit of confusion is pursuing you. There are Israelites who stand strong on their conviction of the Sabbath. You have your interpretation, I have mine. Remember, I do not fight flesh. This lesson is for those who inquire and want to have a better understanding of the Sabbath. I will leave you with this. Do what you know and leave the rest in the hands of the Most High to lead you. Yah will not lead you on the wrong path. Always look for his perfect peace that surpasses all understanding. If thou turn away thy foot from the Sabbath, from doing thy pleasure on my holy day, and call the Sabbath a delight, the holy of the Lord honorable, and shalt honor him, not doing thine own ways, nor finding thine own pleasure nor speaking thine own words. Then shalt thou delight thyself in the Lord, and I will cause thee to ride upon the high places of the earth and feed thee with the heritage of Jacob thy father, for the mouth of the Lord hath spoken it.